hey guys welcome back to the channel and today we are going to start a new series of modeling in maya and zbrush we're going to create uh, an obelisk like this and we're going to create the base mesh in maya then we'll move on to zbrush for sculpting and detailing so in this video we are just going to finish the base mesh so let's start first i'm going to start by setting a character reference so i'm just going to go to generate get brush and here in the modeling section and uh, sculpting base mesh you'll see all these meshes here you can use for the references and the measurements so i'm going to just select this and drop it here and uh, i'll just move it here for now and put it in a layer and then just freeze it like this now we need to increase this grid size so i'm just going to right click on this grid grid options and i'm just going to increase the size so you can change it to 1010 let's try how it looks now it looks much better so we have set up the grid and our character and as you can see if we zoom out we can see these black spots i have already uh, made a tutorial about this in my maya beginner series and uh, i also have a short about this on this channel you can check that out but we're going to fix this again i'm going to go in my perspective view go to attribute editor and in this uh, far clip plane i'm going to change the value to something like this and i'm going to change the near clip plane to 0 0.1 or 0.2 this looks better so i'm just going to go with this now let's take a cube and uh, change the width and height and depth I'm just leaving it like this for now and place it on the top of this grid like this and uh, scale it Go to vertex mode select these vertices pull them down and move it to the side a little bit to create the shape select these vertices and also move them to right scale it and now we are going to create this part so i'm going to take a multi cut tool and let's add one like this and i'm going to select the vertices pull them down or you can select all of these and scale them down select these ones just bring them out to maintain the shape just a little bit and i'm going to select this and just bevel it to add one more edge now select all these faces and i'm going to extrude them add some thickness i think five should be enough go to front view and uh, let's select these vertices move them 
to left a little and i'm going to select the vertices on the top of this extruded part and uh, just scale them like this also these ones just to align them and uh, now let's go to face mode select this face i'm going to press ctrl e and add some offset like this bring this down till here maybe we can scale it down a little bit more like this bring it down select these vertices and pull these ones up a little and now i'm going to select this face again and extrude it like this or you can make it a little wider so i'm going to select these vertices and move them to the side something like this and now it looks much better and to create the rocks here what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a cube and uh, bring this out like this increase the width and height and i'm going to smooth them let's add one more division and uh, scale them like this go to front view and i'm going to select all these vertices scale them down like this pull them up select these vertices pull them up and just place them here duplicate it and let's add a variation so for the variation I'm going to go in my front view select the faces of these sides and uh, rotate them like this enable the soft selection by pressing b and press s then uh, you can then press b again and uh, hold your middle mouse button you can increase or decrease the selection radius like this So we don't have to refine them that much they're just the block outs and the base meshes so you can just place them anywhere you want so i'm going to place this one here rotate it a little and uh, go to top view create a duplicate and place this one here and another one in the back and uh, you can scale this down like this something like this go to front view and uh, let's bring them all up on the grid like this
our base meshes are ready and we are ready to export all of these in zbrush and sculpt so i'm going to select everything go to edit delete by type history so i'm going to create this as a project uh, we should have done this in the beginning but i'm going to do it now so i'm going to go to project window and create a new let's go to where my other projects are set the directory and here i'm going to rename my project accept and let's save now select everything again and go to file export selection and here we are going to export it as fbx export selection now we have exported everything and i'm going to finish this video here and in the next part we are going to import all these meshes in zbrush and sculpt high poly details so this is going to be a series of several videos this could take five or six videos to finish so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel you can also follow me on the instagram and join my discord server you can find all the links in the description there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in our server so make sure to check that out i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching